We just spotted some game there on the crest of the hill. It's a few zebras, three of them. What's intriguing is that they're heading in the same way as the, uh, the eland, but from a different di uh, direction, but they're moving to the same spot. I think there's a water hole or uh, a fountain down there at the back that nobody on this farm knew about. This is the end of the road for most vehicles, but this is a land cruiser. Going where nobody's gone before. There's a mixed herd of game over there. I uh, haven't checked it out with the binos yet, but uh, I can see some blessbuck and I can see some zebra. And uh, I want to see if there's a few hard beasts as well. Three zebras, one pregnant, an eland cow, also pregnant, the four gemsba, and a small herd of, uh, of lesba, but all in very nice condition. But the fertility, so now they've adapted, only the strong survive. And after these few years that they've now dwindled from 12 to 4, it means these four are very hardy and they have adapted. But still, the nutrition is not sufficient for fertility. Planting roads and planting smutsfinger is essential. It's the closest thing that we can have here to the sweet grass of the acacia, thornfelt and Kalahari desert and semi-desert that they come from. And uh, that will give them the quality grass. So the only way we will be able to do that is to cultivate it for them. You see, feeding them pellets is an option. But because there's so many eland, yeah, and the eland being twice their size, three times their size, they'll just uh, um, force them off and eat the pellets. So the only solution is to get them either quarantined or separated, which I don't like, or the long term, and final solution will be uh, to prepare a land, cultivate the grasses that they need, plant the grasses, and as soon as they've adapted and taken to uh, a liking to that pasture, to add more to their number and have the natural increase.